Let's bring back our gaggle, Shira Toplitz, Mark Murray, and MJ Lee. And guys, some interesting developments here in Rhode Island. Lincoln Chafee, who was a lifelong Republican, then became a an independent, is now a Democrat. And it seems that the, the, these Northeastern Republicans, they're a dime, they don't really exist much anymore. And we've always talked about them sort of being an absent. But you sort of parlay that against what's happening among Southern Democrats, mm -hmm. very regional parties now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, you see it just, uh, the election results after 2012, you, we saw it on the congressional level too, just how many House members, uh, Republican House members are in New England anymore. There are a couple in New York, if you even count that as part of right. New England, but basically you have the couple senators and that's it. It really is regional. But, you know, as we talk about regional politics, I think it's important to look forward to, and I don't think this is going to be uh, in cement necessarily, as we see a lot of migration, especially among minorities to the South. Yeah, it's a good change. That's, the, that's Chuck's Hawaii idea of a mark that you're perhaps you'll see places like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania become more conservative while North Carolina and Georgia become more Democrat. Well, and Republicans have to hope that's the case. I mean, right now, the Republicans, the better battlegrounds are in places like Alaska, Arkansas, very red states. Josh Kreischer and, and National Journal today makes a really good point that Republicans have failed to recruit folks in Colorado and in Virginia Senate contests. Yeah. That is a very big problem for Republicans. One quick, po one quick point on Lincoln Chase. He had to make that switch to becoming a Democrat. He only got 36% of the vote in his three-way successful gubernatorial race in 2010. Needed to get into that Democratic primary. The problem for him is that there are, some two, there are two viable Democrats, yeah. and he might have a hard time winning that Democratic That's primary. Fascinating. MJ, your colleague James Holman wrote a really interesting story talking about sort of Southern Democrats, the difficulty they're having because of President Obama, Mary Landu, Mark Pryor. It's so fascinating to me because 2006, the rise of the Democratic Party was on the backs of those blue dogs. In 2008, Obama winning Virginia, North Carolina, districts going to Democrats that you'd never seen before in the South, that seems as all washed away. I think you're absolutely right. There is something definitely to be said about this growing uh, regional divide. Um, let's remember that it wasn't that long ago that we had Mitt Romney as governor of, uh, you know, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. and, and that wasn't that long ago. We had Republican governors all over New England uh, back in the 90s. And we're seeing sort of less of that, uh, you know, trend happening where Republican candidates for with a reform-minded sort of agenda getting elected in democratic states and that's a trend that we're not seeing and I think uh, Chafee deciding to switch his party just draws more attention to that. And it, 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 the main reason why it's important is it doesn't it, it gets rid of compromise because you don't have the regional compromises that you once had between no. the parties. Shameless plugs, really quick. Around um, the happy birthday to two of my dear friends this week, Katie Weitzman and Anna Goman. Happy birthday, happy guys. Birthday. <laughs> my wife started a new job at the Federal Aviation Administration. FAA, land the Congrats. planes. Wonderful. Um, I would love to give a shout out to my political colleague, Alex Eisenstadt, for his great coverage on yeah. Michelle Bach. It was a good one. Yeah. And Sherman wrote with him. Yeah. There. Give him a little. Last but not least, my shameless plug, watch Roy Hibbert take it to the Miami Heat tonight, Georgetown Prep's own, even though I haggled, I, I went after him in high school a little bit, he's playing really great. And at 10 o'clock, Military Channel, Tom Brokaw, set that on your Comcast DVR if you're watching the basketball. We've got much more on Lincoln Chafee's party switch, the challenge he's facing in 2014. Check it out on our website, rundown.msnbc.com. That's it for this edition of the Daily Rundown. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Coming up next on MSNBC, Chris Jansen and company. Take care.